Pajama Rama Day B2. Banana Rific B1. And what better place to spend it than at a wonderful, beautiful. Oh. Rubbish heap. Where's our beach? It must be there somewhere. Somewhere under all that rubbish. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's clean-up time! B1. Not for long, B2. Got it! Did you see that twinkle? I did see that twinkle. She's, She's beautiful! beautiful. How did she get there? A big wave must have brought her in. And now she's trapped. We should put her back in the sea. We will. Uh, how do we do this, B2? Um, I don't know, B1. We can't pick her up in our hands. And she has to stay in water. We need something to pick up her and some water. Something that won't leak. Something like a plastic bag. Something like that plastic bag. It's perfect, B2. Gently does it, B1? Gently it is, B2. Oh, she's even more beautiful up close. And twinkly. She's very tiny too. Maybe too tiny to look after herself in the great big ocean. Maybe we shouldn't put her back in the sea, then. And we can't just leave her in the rock pool. Oh, dear. What should we do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We'll, we'll take, take her, her home, home with us. We'll give you lots of food, little fish. Healthy food to make you big and strong. Then we'll put you back in the sea. And you'll be happy for the rest of your days. Hey there, little fish. Guess what, little fish? You're coming home with us to stay. We'll have lots of fun under the golden sun. And you can swim and laugh all day. B2, do you think our little fish likes being called little fish? We should give her a name. Something like, uh... What about, um... Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We'll, we'll call her Twinkle. Oh, she doesn't look very happy, B2. This bag is too small, B1. And not very safe either. We'd better hurry home then. We need something else for Twinkle to live in. We need an aquarium. Yes, an aquarium. But... B1? Yes, B2? Where can we find an aquarium? Uh, not 
the Teddies. Not Rat. Not Bernard. Charlie! Twinkle? And now that's a name just right for this little one. She needs an aquarium, Charlie. An aquarium? Hmm. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm sure I have an aquarium hmm, somewhere here. Charlie, would that be the aquarium? That? Oh, no, 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 no. Are you sure, Charlie? <gasps> Extraordinary! That is it! Could we have it for Twinkle? It's all yours, Bananas. Anything for Twinkle. This needs a clean. So we need some soap and water. We'll be right back, Twinkle. We didn't want to lose you, Twinkle. The sooner you're safely in your aquarium, the better. But we still have to clean it. Now, where are those buckets? Buckets. Buckets. Buckets! <laughs> now that's what I call clean, B2. Sparkly clean, B1. A sparkly new home for our new friend, Twinkle. All done. All it needs now is Twinkle. Twinkle! She's bouncing again. We'll save you. No! Where did Twinkle go now? Look! She's swinging. And flying. The window! She should be very happy in there. It's a wonderful new home. I don't think she likes it, B2. I don't think so either, B1. Now what do we do? Hmm, I see what you mean, Bananas. Twinkle is definitely most unhappy. Oh dear. That must mean... Twinkle, Twinkle doesn't, doesn't like, like us! Oh! Uh, let's not be hasty, Bananas. I've been deducing the evidence. Oh, deducing? That sounds good. What's deducing, Charlie? It's working out what might be the answer. I'm quite sure she likes you both. She does? But she likes... This even more! What is that, Charlie? It's the sea! The sea? Her home! She's homesick! Precisely! But we do plan to take her back home, Charlie. But only when she's bigger and stronger. Twinkle thanks you for that, but she'd much rather look after herself. Twinkle, is that what you really want? I think that's a yes, B2. I think so too, B1. We're sorry for taking you away from your home, Twinkle. Do you forgive us? Oh, thank you, Twinkle. Time to go, then. Gently now, B2. 
Gently always be one. Goodbye, Twinkle. Keep safe. Now Twinkle's back where she belongs. But I'm still sad to see her go. Oh, so am I. <sighs> but I'm happy that she's home. So am I. And speaking of home, it's time we went home too, B2. You're so right, B1. You like it, B2? I like it, B1. This is the spot for our teddy picture. Now to hang it up. Good thinking, B1. Hammer. Nail. That's all we need. It's so simple. Nothing can go wrong. Doorbell. Good morning, Bananas. Good, Good morning, morning, Lulu. We're having a picnic and you're invited. Oh, thank you, Lulu. Topsy will be there too. And so will we. Right after we hang a picture on the wall. Do you need any help? We can do it, Lulu. We're the can-do bananas. OK, see you at the picnic then. Bye, Lulu. Let's get this picture up, B1. There's a picnic waiting, B2. Nail ready. Hammer ready. Easy, gentle, careful. The nail is in. Now for the picture. Let go. Now. The picture is up. We did it. We are the can-do bananas. And now it's picnic time. Right behind you, B2. The picture is down. Oh, no. What do we do with this big hole? Should we get help from the teddies? If we do that, they'll know we're not the can-do bananas. Hmm. So we've got to do it ourselves. But what is it we do? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. String. Rubber band. Yo-yo. Whistle. No idea. Blue? That's what we're after. We stick the picture up on the wall. And cover the big hole at the same time. It's sticking time! The label on the glue says that it's extra sticky. So we only need a little. But wouldn't a lot of sticky glue stick it even better? Oh, we have to be careful with glue, B2. It's very tricky stuff. Oops! I think I've used it all, B1. Never mind. At least it should do the job, B2. Ready for the stick-up, B1? Ready, B2. Stick up now! Let go now! Will it stay up? It's got to stay up. It's staying up? Yay! Let's go tell the teddies that we're the can-do bananas. Uh, B2? Uh, B1? Are you stuck to me? I think you're stuck to me. We're stuck to each other. We've got to pull. Pull it is. Pull! Whoa! The bananas are coming. They said they were. I wish they'd hurry so we can eat. And Topsy's late too. Good morning, teddies. Sorry we're late. want to tell us bananas? There is something. We've got to tell you that this picnic looks delicious. Thank you for inviting us. There must be something else. Uh, no. no. Bananas? We tried to hang up your picture. And it fell down and made a big hole. Then we glued the picture over the hole. And got the glue on us. And, and now, now we're, we're stuck, stuck together. together. <laughs> You're stuck together? <laughs> Because of glue? <laughs> oh, Bananas, how did you do that? <sighs> oh, we're sorry, Bananas. <laughs> it's not nice of us to laugh. We'll get you unstuck. You will? 
Please do, Teddies. You each pull on your banana while I push them apart. Ready to pull. Me too. Let's do it. <laughs> you really are stuck together, bananas. And so am I. And me. We're all stuck. How do we get unstuck? Let's pull again. A big pull. A one and a two and a... <laughs> Is everyone all right? I'm OK. Me too. Me three. Make that four. We need some help. Let's find someone to help. Which way will we go? That way! Hello? Anyone here? Oh, what's this? Monster! Topsy! Was that you, Topsy? Don't go! Come back! <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Topsy. Monster! Bernard! Monster! No, no, calm down. Take a few deep breaths. <sighs> What's the problem? Monster! <laughs> That's no monster, Topsy. Not if I recognise those feet. Bernard? Are you there, Bernard? Yes, I am here. And Topsy, too. Teddies? Bananas? Oh, we're so happy to see you. Uh, we're in trouble. What is this? Uh, a silly game, is it? This is no game, Bernard. We're stuck. And can't get unstuck. How did this happen? And I'm looking at you, Bananas. We were using glue. Too much glue. All sticky? Very sticky. Don't touch us, Topsy, or you'll be stuck too. I believe Charlie might be the monkey for this sticky situation. Come along. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. It might be best to bring Charlie to you. Uh, stay right there, uh, which I'm sure you will. <laughs> hmm. We could. No, we couldn't. What if? Uh, what if we don't do that? Maybe... Uh, maybe not. What else do you do to unstick things? Uh, we could always uh, shake. Shake? That's it. We'll shake you. How can you shake us, Charlie? <laughs> With a shaking machine. What else? You have a shaking machine? Oh, <laughs> doesn't everyone? <laughs> this is going to be safe. Oh, yes. We'll be quite safe. But what about us? Oh, I'm sure you'll be safe too. Ready for shaking? No! Excellent. Let's shake. Uh, this is quite unsatisfactory. Is there a maximum shake? There is, but... Then, uh, Maximum shake it. Oh, maximum shake. <laughs> oh, my. Bananas! Teddy! A rescue is in order. Wibbly wobbly whoopsie dee. Shake it all up, oh goodness me. What to do when you're stuck like glue and you can't get loose? It's a real to do, do, do. It's a real to do. Stuck to you. What a shake up, B2. I'm still shaking, B1. We're shaken but free. Free! 
What happened? Was it the shaking? I think the seawater did something to the glue. And made it less sticky. We might not be stuck anymore. But we are wet. Totally soaked! We're sorry, everybody. We should have asked for help with the picture. We wanted to be the can-do bananas. But we're the can't-do bananas. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with admitting that you can't do something, bananas. As long as you ask for help. We'll always help you. Uh, and so will we. Anytime. You know that, bananas. And I'll help too. Thanks, everyone. In the end, you did a good job, bananas. We did a good job? That picture is well stuck. Maybe we are the can-do bananas. And when we can't, we'll be the asking for help bananas. Come on, everyone. Let's see what's left of our picnic. Picnic! There's got to be something here we can rescue. And eat to the picnic! <laughs> <laughs> I like about today, B2? Everything, B1? Everything, B2. Oh! But I especially like the flowers. They are beautiful. Oh. You know what we should do, B2? Pick some flowers and take them home? That's exactly it, B2. <laughs> You know what else we should do, B1? Pick some more flowers so we can share them with our friends. That's exactly it again, B1. <coughs> now to find a friend to give the flowers to, B2. <coughs> we should give the flowers to a special friend, B1. But all our friends are special, B2. Right. So maybe we should give them to someone who really likes flowers. Good idea. Hi, Bananas! <coughs> Good morning, Topsy. Wow, I love those flowers. Look at all those colours. Oh, they smell so nice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's flowers for a friend time. These are for you, Topsy. <gasps> for me? Oh, no. I, I, I can't take your flowers from you. Yes, you can. These are for a friend. And you're that friend. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! Our beehive looks like it's full. Mmm, full of honey. The bees have been busy all spring, collecting nectar from flowers. And more nectar means more honey for me. Uh, and you, too. Hello, Hello teddies! Look at my beautiful flowers. <gasps> They're so pretty. And they smell terrific. Where did you get them? The bananas gave them to me. We just had to pick some and share them with our friends. Oh, these are for me. Well, uh... Oh, bananas. That's so nice of you. The thing is, Amy... What good friends you both are. <laughs> They are for you, Amy. Thank you, Bananas. So, no flowers for us? Aren't we your friends too? Um, um... Of course you're our friends. Two of our very best friends. And there are flowers for you. We just have to get them right, right away. away. I'll pick some for Lulu, B2. And I'll pick some for Morgan, B1. Then all our friends will be happy. Hey! Hi, bananas. Good morning, Pedro. 
great flowers. Glad you like them. They're a gift for our friends. Gee, thanks. That's so nice. Thanks, Pedro. What's so nice? Uh, giving me a gift. They are for me, aren't they? Well... Um... Or maybe they're not for me. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. You're a great friend, Pedro. And these flowers are for you. Thanks, Bananas. Well, I never. Never, ever. Flowers for Pedro. But not for us. We love flowers too. Or aren't we good enough friends to deserve them? Of course you're good friends, Camembert. Two of the best friends we could want. And we do have flowers for you, Camembert. And for you too, Dolly. We just have to go pick them. Right now. We still need flowers for Amy and Morgan. And now we need flowers for Dolly and Camembert too. Otherwise our friends won't think they're our friends anymore. And what about our other friends, B1? Like Rat. And Charlie. And Bernard. Oomph! This will be a big job, B2. We need to be prepared. Right. I'll get a barrow, B2. And I'll get one too, B1. We need lots of flowers, B2. Because we have lots of friends, B1. Wow! <sighs> flowers for you, Camembert. Bear. How lovely, B1. Flowers for you, Dolly. How delightful, B2. Sorry, can't stop. Have to go. Flowers, flowers for, for everyone. everyone. Those bunches of flowers bigger than the bunch I got. I wouldn't be surprised, Pedro. Dolly and I are very good friends of the bananas. Very, very good friends. Is that it, B2? That's it, B1. Every one of our friends has flowers. No one missed out. Oh. We don't have any flowers. What should we do, B2? Go and pick some more, B1. Right. There we are, B1. Our friends have flowers. And we have flowers. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. I am so hungry, B2. Breakfast's coming up, B1. Oh, oh no! no. What's happened, B2? They're all droopy. We must have waited too long to put them in water. Not to worry. We can go out and get some more. And maybe a few extra, in case any of our friends' flowers have drooped too. Good idea, B1. Nice, fresh flowers. Here we come. Whoa! Hello, bees. It's me, Amy. Can you spare us a little honey, please? <laughs> oh, it's OK. If you don't want me to take any, I won't. Why are you so angry? The bananas? You're angry at the bananas? Oh, no! The bananas are in serious trouble! Where should we start, B2? Wherever you like, B1. Whoa! What happened to the flowers, B2? I think we picked them all, B1. And did we make this big mess of the field? I think we did, B1. Are you buzzing, B2? I thought you were buzzing, B1. I'm not buzzing. Then who's buzzing? Aha! Uh -huh. The, the bees, bees are buzzing. buzzing! That buzz doesn't sound very happy. Not very happy at all. Is something wrong, bees? Us? 
Are you unhappy with us? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's run fast time! Ah! Hi, Bananas! Oh, good, good morning, morning Topsy. Topsy! Hey, those flowers you gave me, they were all droopy this morning. Yeah, we know. That's why we were getting more flowers. But we couldn't. Why not? There's why! Bees! I want to talk to you. We've got a problem, Rat. Just look at these droopy flowers you gave me. We've got a bigger problem than the droopy flowers. We've got a bee problem. Bees? What bees? Oh, those bees. If you need me, I'll be uh, somewhere else. There's only one thing to be done. We have to talk. Bananas to bees. Uh. Hello, bees. How are you today? Uh, angry. I'm here to help, Bananas. Thank you, Amy. We need all the help we can get. Please tell us what's upsetting you. Flowers. Like the ones we picked. <gasps> Is this about the Bananas picking flowers? Thumbs up. I've got it. Bees collect from flowers. No flowers means no nectar, which means no honey. So by picking their flowers, we were taking away the bees' food. We only wanted to share the flowers. We're so sorry, bees. What can we do to make the bees happy? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Instead of picking flowers, we'll plant flowers. Is that okay? I think that means yes, Bananas. It's flower planting time! Much as I like flowers at home, I like them even better in the fields. Wild flowers should be left to grow naturally. We know that now. Oh, we won't pick them again. We didn't help you either, Bananas. We shouldn't have made you give us all those flowers. And we won't do it again either. Are we doing a good job, B? That buzz sounds like a yes. To show that there are no hard feelings, Bananas, the bees have a present for you. Honey! And you know what that means? Lots of munchy honey cakes. For all our friends. When can we have them, Bananas? Just as soon as we finish planting these flowers, Morgan. So let's get planting! One more piece, B2. One more it is, B1. Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's Visit Charlie time. After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you! Oh! Uh, uh, after you again, B2. Oh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you, Bananas? You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, Bananas. Jamarama! We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. Banana-rific! 
Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner, and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank you, Charlie. But, uh, but bananas! Bye, Charlie! Bananas, wait! Oh, dear. Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends, too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes, they must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Uh, uh, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. OK. Hey! It doesn't wobble. Another great fix-it job. By the Fix-It Bananas. Thanks, Bananas. Our, Our pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Uh, well, I think they did. Let us do that, Lulu. Because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, Bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, Bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we fix it. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Are you sure this will work, Bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing. For the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I'll be over straight away. Now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. La, 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 la. Lulu, stop. Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes. And they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. Uh, they were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel? All done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we've fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That 
that's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great! Bananas! That's Charlie. Huh? He must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Bananas! Stop your work! No more fixing! There is no more fixing. Because we've fixed everything. Everything? Everything that needed fixing is fixed. Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? What's happening? What's wrong with our house? It's your fixing, Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're sorry. It's okay, Bananas. Everything can be fixed and we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. Oh, thanks, Charlie. And you too, Teddies. Then, then we'll, we'll really be, be the, the Fix-It Bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that... You're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See you all in one hour. Wow, Bananas, this looks terrific. Splendid indeed. What delicious food. Thanks, everyone. Come and eat. Thanks, Thanks bananas. bananas. Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be. We fixed it only last week. You what? was close. We could have had the worst accident ever. But we saved everything. Wow! Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Oh, bananas. <laughs> No B2. No B1. Ah! B2. B1. Wow! Ah! Huh? <laughs> B1. B2. Wow! <laughs> going on out there? The bananas are acting really weird. Maybe it's some sort of game. Oh, no. It's no game. They're getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow is Banana Day. Of course, the special day where the bananas give each other presents. And try to surprise each other. Wow! Wow! Someone's at the front door. I think it might be a banana. 
Hi, B1. Excuse me, Morgan. Teddies, I need your help. It's banana day tomorrow. We know. And I need a surprise present for B2. We know. What can I give him? Um, we don't know. I don't know either. Hmm, OK. Let's, let's think about this. What did you give B2 last banana day? Pajamas. What did you give him on the banana day before that? Uh, pajamas. Do you always give B2 pajamas? He loves pajamas. But this banana day, I want to give B2 something that will surprise him. Someone's at the back door. We'd better answer it. Excuse us, B1. Hmm, surprise present. Not pajamas. What could it be? Hi, B2. Excuse me, Morgan. Teddies, I need your help. We know. Banana Day is tomorrow. You need a surprise present for B1. And you need an idea for the present. That's it. But how did you know? Uh, lucky guess? Let's think some more. What does B1 like? He likes pyjamas. Let's try something different. What does B1 really need? He needs pyjamas. OK. What would B1 really miss if he didn't have it? Ah, he definitely miss his pyjamas. Hmm. B1. Excuse us a moment, B2. You keep thinking about that present. Hmm. Any ideas, Teddies? When we can't think of a present, we make something for each other. pyjama rific! I can make something for B2. Uh, what could I make? How about a card? Or a painting? Or a drinking mug? A drinking mug? I'll show you. Morgan made us drinking mugs. We love them! Here they are. They're great! I want to make a drinking mug exactly like that for B2. B2! We'll be right back, B1. We've got an idea, B2. You can make something for B1. pajama -rific. That would be a great surprise. But what could I make? You could make a card or a painting. I know. I could make a drinking mug like that. No, you can't do that. No, a mug wouldn't be a good surprise at all. Why not? Uh, um, um, I mean, well, think, oh, well. well. We know, Morgan. Excuse us, B2. We'll be right back. B1. Where did he go? Quick, back to B2. B2? <gasps> He's gone. B2? He's gone too. Oh, the bananas are both going to make the same present for each other. Well, maybe that's not so bad, though. That's right. The bananas do like the same things. So let's help them. And make sure their presents are really nice surprises. Even if they are the same thing. <laughs> I've got a great idea for a banana day surprise, B2. <laughs> I've got a great idea too, B1. But I need some help. And I need some help too. <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Let's Ask Charlie time! This is going to be a great surprise. Our best ever surprise. But you're not supposed to know my surprise, B1. And you're not supposed to know my surprise, B2. Ah, good morning, bananas. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Hmm. <laughs> Very strange. Very strange indeed. Charlie, have you seen the bananas? I have. They went that way. Charlie, we need help to help the bananas. Would you have something that could help them make drinking mugs? I have the very thing. But we can't let one banana know what the other banana is doing. Which means we need two things to help the bananas. Not a problem. I have the very two things. Ooh. Do you know what this is, B1? I do know. It's a pottery wheel. Correct, B1. Do you know how to use it? I once watched Morgan use one. You take a big lump of clay... That's the way. Put it on the wheel and start it up. 
<gasps> you do know B1. And as the clay goes around, you make what you want to make. And you want to make a drinking mug. <sighs> it is your first time, B1. Try again. I will. Oh, oh. oh, it does take a while to get the hang of it, B2. But keep on trying. I will. You're into it now, B1. It's looking very promising. Thanks, Charlie. This is going to be a great banana day surprise for B2. We hope so. And after you finish shaping the mug, we'll put it in this kiln. That looks like an oven. It is an oven. It heats the clay and makes it hard, just like a normal cup. That's amazing! You really cooked the mug in a kiln? That's right, B2. This is going to be a great banana day surprise for B1. We hope so. Let's go and see how B1 is doing. Good idea. We'll be right back, B2. We should check on B2. Let's do that. Excuse us, B1. We'll only be a moment. How's B1 going? Great. And B2? Fantastic. As long as we keep the bananas apart, they'll both have a terrific surprise for Banana Day tomorrow. Amy, Charlie, I finished. I did it. Morgan, I did it! I finished! No, B1! Wait, B2! Go, Go back. back! B2! B1! Ah. Ah. <gasps> the mugs! Catch them! Ah. You got them! You sure did! My surprise present! Your surprise present, B2! Your surprise present, B1? We were both making mugs. <sighs> it's not a surprise now. I'm sorry not to have a real surprise present for you, B2. And I'm sorry not to have a real surprise present for you, B1. But I've still got a banana day gift for you. And I've got a banana day gift for you. It might not be a surprise. But it'll be banana -rific. Maybe it's too hard for the bananas to surprise each other. Because they always do the same thing. No matter how much we help. What do we do with these things? They're no good now. I don't know about that. Don't move. How long can't we move for? What are you going to do, Charlie? It's surprise time. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. Do you know what today is? I do know what today is. Happy Banana Day! Oh, I wonder what it could be. This is so exciting! Pajamas! Thank you, B2. Thank you, B1. I love new pajamas. They're pajama-tastic! How will we celebrate Banana Day, B2? We could go to the beach. Or the lake. Or we could open those presents. Presents? From B2 to B1. From B1 to B2. I didn't know you were giving me another present. We've, We've got, got a surprise. surprise! Our mugs. That really is a surprise. Who can that be? Coming! Happy Banana Day! Thank you for the mugs. What a great surprise! We only helped a little. You made them. We're going to use our surprise mugs all the time. Starting from now. Who wants lemonade? <laughs> oh, yes, please. This is the best banana day ever. The very best. Here's to the bananas. Happy, Happy Banana Day! Banana day. It's nice of Bernard to lend us his sailboat, B1. I love sailing. 
After you, B2. After you, B1. Thank, Thank you. you. Now to untie the rope, B1. Leave it to me, B2. Are you all right, B1? J just a bit wet, B2. There. Now to put the sail up, B1. I'll do it, B2. Oh, the sail's stuck, B2. I'll help you, B1. Now we're all set, B1. Away we go. Oh dear, there's one thing missing. You're right, B2. There's no wind. Oh! Ooh. What was that? Oh no! Look! <gasps> A, A shark! shark! No shark. It's Skid the dolphin. Hello, Skid. I think Skid wants to play, B1. But we'll need some beach toys. Wait here, Skid. We'll be back in a minute. This should keep Skid happy. Let's, Let's go, go and, and have fun. fun. We're gonna play games, games. We're gonna play games. We're gonna play games today. Games, games. We're gonna play games, and we're gonna play all day! Uh, B1, do you notice anything? Notice what, B2? While we've been playing, the tide's gone out! Look! You're right, B2. It's left Skid stuck in this little pool. It'll be hours before the sea comes back in again. What, what are, are we, we going, going to do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's saving Skid time! But how will we save him, B1? Hmm. I know, B2. Let's make the pool bigger. Good idea, B1. We'll pour buckets of water in until it's so big it joins up with the sea again. Let's go and get some buckets. Do you think we've got enough buckets, B1? I hope so, B2. Let's go and save Skid! All my buckets are filled, B1. Mine too, B2. Let's take them to Skid's pool. Oh! One more try, B1. Right, B2. Bucketfuls is that, B1? Um, lots, B2. Skid's pool should be much bigger. Maybe we need to think of another way to save Skid, B1. I know. Why don't we dig a channel from the pool to the sea? Good thinking, B1. Then Skid will be able to swim straight back home. Let's go and get our spades. Do you think we've got enough spades, B1? Oh, we only need one each, B2. Oh, that's right. Let's dig that channel! We... we made it, B1. It looks a bit crooked, B2. Very crooked, B1. But Skid will still be able to swim home through it. You're right, B2. Let's go and show him. Come on, Skid. Over here. This is the way home. See? He won't go into it, B1. I know. Let's catch him and carry him here. Then he'll see how safe it is. Good idea, B1. You go that way and I'll go this way. Ready, B1? Ready, B2. Go! Ooh. 
He thinks it's a game, B1. A funny game, B2. Wait a minute, B1. Why don't we make it into a game? Great idea, B2. Hey, Skid, do you want to play catch? Oh, look, the ball's gone into the channel. Can you get it for a Skid? Huh? What's wrong, Skid? I think he's stuck, B1. The channel isn't deep enough. Oh, oh dear. dear. Let's try pushing him, B1. Ooh. I think we're tickling him, B1. Ah. Oh. oh, this isn't working, B1. Nothing's working, B2. Hello, bananas. What are you up to? We're trying to save Skid. Save Skid? The tide went out and left him stuck in this little pool. So we're helping him get back out to the sea. But nothing we do seems to work. Oh. Hmm. What you need is a dolphin transporter. A dolphin transporter? It's something to move a dolphin from place to place. Have you got one, Charlie? <laughs> no, I don't. But I've got a feeling I'm about to invent one. Come with me, bananas. Pass the hammer, B1. Pass the hammer, B2. Ow! Oops, sorry, B1. No, I'm done, B2. Here you go, Charlie. Thanks, bananas. <coughs> now I need a sheet of glass. From over there, bananas. Leave it to us, Charlie. Ah, uh, can you see any glass, B1? Um, not really, B2. Look out, bananas! Oof! I think we found it, B1. I think we did, B2. Okay, all we need are the wheels. There, the dolphin transporter is all finished. What do you think, bananas? It's perfect, Charlie. Now let's go and save Skid. Hello, Skid. We're going to take you back to the sea. Uh, B1, do you notice anything? Notice what, B2? OK, bananas. Let's push the transporter into the water. Push! Great. Now we open the hatch so Skid can swim inside. Come on, Skid. In you go. Great. Now we'll have him back in the sea in no time. I think I just noticed what you noticed, B2. We'd better tell Charlie, B1. Um, Charlie? We have to tell you something. Wait a minute, Bananas. Right now we need to pull the transporter out of the water. But... Ready? Pull! OK, now we can take Skid back to the sea. Huh? Where is the sea? That's what we're trying to tell you, Charlie. The sea's right here! Oh, oh dear. We spent so long building the transporter, the tides come back in again. So Skid doesn't need saving anymore. I guess we'd better put Skid back in the water. There. Now I'd better go home too, Bananas. Thanks for your help, Charlie. It's a pity there's no wind, or we could take you for a sail in Bernard's boat. That would be fun. Never mind. Thanks for the thought. What's Skid doing now? Don't do that, Skid. If you take the rope off, the boat will float away. Look. <laughs> He's pulling the boat along. What's he trying to tell us, B1? I'm not sure, B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Skid wants to take us sailing! How much fun is this, B1? Lots and lots of fun, B2! You can't beat sailing, especially with a friend like Skid to help. Thanks, Skid! 